hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm coming to you with my favorite product that i like in the month of april first thing i'm going to be talking about is the sasha buttercup setting powder this is it and i really like this powder i like it better than the benai powder because the benai powder it has flashbacks and this don't have flashbacks a little bit goes a long way this one is more fine milk than the benai powder in my opinion it sits under my eyes it kicks up my face and i don't like that at all when it comes to powders but this one really works really good the next thing i'm going to be talking about is a sample that i got from mac it's the zoom fast black lash it's a mascara and this is the one and the mascaras are very expensive i believe it's like 20 to 26 dollars mm -mm. and i really love this mascara and it blends with your false lashes really good and especially for the bottom lash i tear up a lot when it comes to mascaras so i try to stay away from them a little bit but this one it, it's a really nice mascara i just wish that it was a little cheaper so i could get it I'm not gonna spend 20 dollars on a mascara mm -mm. The next thing i'm gonna be talking about is from covergirl is the queen bronzer and this is a color ebony and I picked this up at Target you're not gonna find it at the store you have to order it online because it's very hard to find or you could order it on Amazon this powder is really good for women of color and this blend in so well guys so well it lasts a long time I had this for like two years and I haven't hit pan as yet and a little bit goes a long way the next one i'm going to talking about is from black radiance it's also a contour palette is a true complexion contour palette this is it i spoke about this a few times in some of my hauls and listen this palette is everything everything especially the highlight i use it today and this is my holy grail and it's cheap this one is the medium to dark they have two shades the medium to dark and light to medium this is a really nice palette i'm not gonna talk too much about it because i spoke about this palette before if you missed this video i will put a link in the description so you guys can check that out the next thing i'm going to be talking about is the la girl pro concealer corrector this is it LA girl been doing their thing man this is so good okay it covers every marks on my face I have a few others from BH cosmetics I don't like this one because it's too thick and it's, it comes in a pan and I really I have to really work my way in it to get it on my eyes I don't like that this is one of the BH cosmetics ones that I use you have to do a lot of work with this palette this one is um it's liquid and a little bit goes a long way it's it's thick as well but it covers so well um you could find this at your local beauty supply store or you could order this at iskatehouse.com i will put a link in the description if you guys want to get this the next thing i'm going to be talking about is this lipstick from maybelline it's one of the nude lipsticks and this is the color maple kiss i'm wearing it right now this is the shade I like this lipstick a lot because it blends well I like it on my skin tone it's soft it's not sticky it just goes in really nice on my lips and I like lipstick like that especially new lipsticks it's not drying on the lips it has this nice texture that I like this is only seven dollars at the beauty supply I will also put a link in the description where you could find this the next thing is from Mac is their studio finish concealer and this is the color NW45. This is it. I like this concealer for my eyebrows. I don't like concealers that is too light on your eyebrows. I like something that is close, very close to my skin tone. This works very well. I had this for like two years and you can see I haven't hit pan as yet. And it blends in really nice. I actually bought this for 
my under eyes concealer but it's too thick i don't like that so i use it for my eyebrows i have another one which is i think is nw40 but it's too light the last thing is my beauty blender guys <laughs> i got this beauty blender from imax new york i love this thing okay this is it right here sorry it's dirty see how soft it is i just used it look how soft this is okay now look at the difference this one is from forever 21 and it's dry but it's hard i just wanted to try this one out because everyone talks about this blender and it gets in there like nobody's business okay I'm not going back i don't care if i had to pay the 20 dollars for this this yes my girlfriend yeah girl mm -hmm. you are right wait i have another one the last thing i'm going to be talking about is this brush from mophie is an e1 brush <laughs> this brush is so nice i like it because it's very soft it's a very soft brush and it's big very big and it blends in really well everyone was raving about this brush and i could see the reason to why everyone was talking about this brush this brush is a really nice brush this is the elite brand it doesn't shed one bit it does not shed one bit and that's one of the reasons why i like brushes like this you don't shed i'll fall in love with you this is all i have for you guys today this was my april favorite these are the things that i actually use every day but in the month of april i was loving all these products that i shown you guys don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel bye guys